It's being called life-changing treatment for people with chronic pain. It's not a prescription pill. Here with more on DRG stimulation is Dr. Dennis Patterson of Nevada Advanced Pain Specialist. Thanks for coming back on the newscast. Okay. Always great having you. Um, you're using stimulation technology to treat chronic pain. Just describe briefly how it works. Um, essentially, you know, a patient's had a surgery or they've had some type of chronic nerve damage that sends the signal of pain to the brain. And what we're using is electrical frequencies to shortchange that signal and stop the signal from getting to the brain. So who's a candidate for this type? Anybody who has focal neuropathic pain, especially for the dorsal root ganglion stimulator. So patients who have had like a, a failed surgery of the hip, knee, foot, uh, failed back surgical syndrome, um, somebody who has a chronic pinched nerve in their back that causes pain down their leg, hmm. those are all excellent candidates. And it sounds like this is for a lot of people who've exhausted all options, maybe even pain medication. How long should the pain persist before they come see you? Well, chronic is, is considered either three to six months, depending okay. on the physician you see. So a patient who's had a surgery and has existing or chronic pain at six months after the surgery would be an excellent candidate for, for, to be considered for the procedure. After our story aired last week, and you can catch it on KTVN.com, a couple questions that we regularly get is, A, what if I have acute pain? Will I feel that? And um, B, how do I know that it'll, it'll even work for me? Well, uh, the good news thing is, is one, if you do have acute pain, it's not going to cover it up. Okay. So um, patients don't have to be afraid that they have the uh, device, if they get hurt, that it would cover it up. Yeah. Th they'd be totally fine. And um, the great part about this technology is you get to try it out. It's like a rental car. So you come into our office, it takes 10 to 15 minutes to have the device put in. You try it out for five to seven days. Five to seven days later, it takes me 30 seconds to remove it. And you tell me if it worked for you or not. And you've had pretty good numbers so far in terms of success. Oh, absolutely. We track our internal numbers. And with the dorsal root ganglion stimulator, we have a 97% success, success rate. Whoa. Meaning that 97% of patients who get a trial end up wanting the permanent implant. I've been doing this for two and a half years and I've not had a single patient ask me to remove the device. And you don't have to charge it like some other stimulation devices. Correct. With this okay. one, it has a non-rechargeable battery. So the goal is to set it and forget it. Okay. You turn it on and you move on with life. The only time you think about it is if your battery dies, you know, three to five years down the line, okay. you'd have to come back to me to replace the battery. Like That's a pacemaker. It. Just like yeah. a pacemaker. Okay. Dr. Patterson, if you, he will be here until 6 o'clock tonight. If you still have questions, call 858-2222. A lot of people dealing with chronic pain, and this is one option if you'd like to avoid things like opioids and the like. So, again, yeah. thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you. having you. Appreciate it. For more information or to RSVP for pain management new techniques, go to nnmc.com events.